Welcome to Oracle tutorial. So today uh, we are going to talk about indexes. Now this is a continuation of our last tutorial where we briefly started talking about indexes. Um, so if you haven't gone through the last one, uh, please go through that video so that you have uh, pretty much a good idea about what we covered about indexes. So today let's take some examples of indexes. Um, so as you see, this is the a very simple uh, index where we are creating an index on the employee table on the column department ID and we are giving it as a name. Now after index is created, the way to use index is if you say where ID equal to let's say 2, then it is uses index. Now in a small table where we have 2-3 rows, you would not be able to see the difference but let's say if you have uh, 10,000 rows, you can see um, when you are using index, meaning when you are searching with an ID and you have an index on ID, it is much faster than let's say then, then maybe um, if you do like let's say instead of that where if you search with uh, maybe you know employee name which is F name equal to David and if there is no index on F name uh, then you will see a uh, lot slower. So that's pretty much the basics of index. Now the other things which you have to keep in mind is um, in which situation create an index, which situation to create index. So there is a term called selectivity. So what is selectivity is um, is the ve the difference distribution of values meaning let's say if we have a column called gender and it is either it, it can have two values uh, let's say male or female so M and F and if even if you have 10,001 million rows even if you only if you have male or female on the gender um, column as values then it is not it is not a good idea to create index because you want to create an index where there are lots of different types of values uh, so that you know it is hard to search uh, for that information quickly. <coughs> so an ideal uh, index uh, column, so you in this particular case you would not like to create an index on gender. So an ideal candidate uh, for index creation is um, ID, you know where employee ID. If uh, or maybe uh, employee, let's say state. Let's say if you are searching with uh, with uh, with a parameter. Let's say if you are searching with the employee ID or employee state, and that particular uh, field or column has a good number um, of values. Now, good number meaning, you know, it is a uh, what percent? Let's say if your table has hundred rows, and if your let's say EMP ID has you know let's say 100 different values then it is a good candidate if employee state has let's say 50 type of values then it's a good candidate if employee state has only maybe four values or five values then it may not be a good candidate so those are the sort of you know judgment calls you have to make so the that the, so what is selectivity selectivity is defined as the the number of different types of values so for example the gender will have a low selectivity, but whereas employee ID would be a, would be having a high selectivity. Okay, so that's about selectivity. Now the next thing is um, sometimes index uh, when you create, you can have also multiple columns index. For example, if uh, you can create an index, um, so let's say here go back to this create index department ID on EMP you can create an index on department ID and maybe EMP ID so a combination of um, columns now for this particular it may not make sense to create but what I'm trying to say is that you can create index on multiple columns and the situations where you would use uh, multiple column indexes uh, let's say um, when uh, let's say when you write queries, uh, queries always uh, take uh, both the columns to search with. Uh, let's say if you're searching with EMP table and always you have 
or most of the times you have two columns instead of uh, which is department ID and EMP ID, then you you are better off creating a that's called a composite index uh, with involving both the columns. So the other part is um, when you create an index, what happens? As I was telling you in the last uh, um, in a last uh, video, that basically index is when internally Oracle creates another table to store really the index column, index column value, and the physical address of the of the row. So if you're creating a uh, index on department ID, so when if department ID is one, it will store this. So so every time you add <coughs> every time you add um, record it updates this index uh, table now sometimes uh, for whatever reason you know if you are doing a lot of batch updates you're updating a row or something uh, and then sometimes index may become a little bit stale meaning it may not reflect the exact uh, latest up-to-date representation of the table so in that particular case there is a command called compute statistics what that means is that it rebuilds uh, or it recalculates all the uh, index data so that means it updates this uh, table with the latest information so so you can do you can analyze the table there is one syntax analyze table compute index or you can you can um, you can fire and something called an alter index uh, with compute statistics so let me give you the syntax so this is the syntax syntax alter index index name rebuild compute statistics so what that means is that you know it rebuilds the statistics for this particular index means it updates this um, you know this index table so if uh, some new rows added uh, you know some address got changed or something it it uh, updates those statistics now when you fire this one analyze EMP compute statistics if EMP table has more than one index it cal it 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 computes the statistics for all of them whereas this one you are really doing for only one index so that's pretty much uh, the difference uh, so so we talked about you know the creation of index um, how how we can use the index um, then there are other scenarios which you have to think is uh, is you know why use index the reason we use index is to fetch the rows faster so let's say if you have a table call of you know, 1 million rows and then instead of scanning the full table you can quickly get to do an index search based on index get the address and then get the particular row but for example if you are doing a search is where you are expecting a large number of rows let's say let's say you have your table at 10,000 rows and you are expecting your query to fetch maybe 3,000 rows so that time it may not be a good idea to do an index based search because you're going to do you know think about it you're going to fetch one row go to the index table get the row one get the uh, match with the ID and then get the address and go to the table and then fetch the row so you have to do it for 3000 times instead of that it is better idea not to use the index uh, but rather just do a full table scan meaning scanning really the entire table uh, without really going through some sort of a index table lookup uh, so so that's uh, that's that's one of the reasons you know you might not want to use index um, the other part is that other thing where is you can also create function indexes meaning so let's say if you are um, let's say if you are select six star from EMP where F name equal to David so let's say if you are always you know for a certain reason you always want to search with the upper name so you can create a, a index with upper F name meaning create index on you can say upper 
f nem so you can create based on upper f nem um, but if you don't and then if you use a uh, if you create index with just f nem and then you try to use upper then it will not use the index so it whenever you want to use some sort of function in your query you are better off using that function in the index itself so that's for all for indexes um we'll uh, discuss something else uh, for our next uh, video thank you